Hello and welcome to video tutorial how to create mount partitions on Windows Server 2003. Mount partitions are the partitions which are mounted to an NTFS folder. Let's see how to create them. To create mount partitions, right click on my computer, click on manage. This opens the computer management. In computer management under storage, select disk management in disk management we have two disks disk 0 and disk 1 of 40 GB each disk 0 has a primary partition C and disk 1 is unallocated space where we can create the new partitions in order to create mount partitions first we need a folder to which we will mount the partition let's create a folder in C drive open my computer open C drive here we have a empty folder with name mount let's say we want to mount the partition to folder mount Go to computer management, right click on the unallocated space, select new partition. This opens the welcome to the new partition wizard. Click on next to continue. Here select primary partition, click on next. Enter the partition size, let's say 1 GB, click on next assign a drive letter or path in this screen select mount in the following empty NTFS folder click on browse expand the C drive here you can see the folder mount select click on ok click on next in the file system select NTFS select perform a quick format and click on next click on finish now you can see that a new partition is created go to C drive you can see that the folder mount icon is changed to hard disk icon let's see the type of the file right click on the mount click on properties you can see that the type is mounted volume whereas for normal folders it will show as file folder now let's try to mount the extended partition let's create one more folder in C drive right click new folder let's say mount 2 right click on unallocated space in computer management sorry in disk management select new partition in the welcome to the new partition wizard click on next select extended partition click on next and give the partition size let's say 10 GB click on next click on finish you can see that it is not giving the option to specify the drive letter or path click on finish now the extended partition we have a free, free space let's create a logical drive in it right click in the free space select new logical drive in the welcome to the new partition wizard click on next select logical drive click on next give the partition space let's say 1 GB click on next here mount in the following empty NTFS folder click on browse expand C select mount to click on OK click on next 
so now in the file system select fat and perform a quick format click on next click on finish so now we have a fat 16 partition let's create one more partition first let's see the mount 2 you can see that it is the icon of the folder is changed right click properties you can see that it is a mounted volume now as we said earlier that we are mounting the partition to NTFS folder what if a folder is created on fat partition let's create a one more drive right click new logical drive click on next click on next say one gig click on next assign drive E click on next we are not mounting this partition click on next now here select fat or fat 32 it's a fat 32 perform a quick format click on next click on finish now go to my computer in my computer you can see that we have drive C and drive E drive C is of NTFS file system whereas drive E is of FAT32 let's create a new folder in drive E which is FAT32 right click new folder and let's say the name as FAT32 mount now let's try to mount the mount the partition to this folder go to computer management in the disk management right click on the free space select new logical drive click on next select the logical drive click on next give the space let's say 1 GB click on next now select mount in the following MT NTFS folder click on browse you can see that it is showing only this C drive not the E this is because we can only mount the drives to NTFS folder however we can create the mounted partitions with FAT FAT32 file system Thank you for watching this video tutorial.